Good evening and welcome to Orca News. The headlines. Health department now preparing for vaccination next month. Frequently asked questions to be answered. Landova Metro Transit System to add a new metro line. And stricter and limited travel restrictions are imposed in more states and countries. Landova Metro Transit System with the Urban Planning and Development Department and Transportation Department is planning to construct a new metro transit line in Picot City. The line will be called Lingus Line where the main station will be in the Lingus District. It is planned to run from Rotterdam Stadium to Loveheart Village. The metro will be built overhead. Several phases will be done during the construction. The first two stations will be in Rotterdam and Lingus Districts. The proposed start of construction of the line will be by the third quarter of 2021. The Landova Metro Transit System is still halting the construction of the Schottler Line and Picot Main Line due to unfinished infrastructural planning of the city. Ease of travel restrictions has been imposed in several areas. The places listed are in partial and limited travel restrictions. This means that travels must be essential and valid. Non-essential and vacation travel will not be authorized to travel in the following places. All U.S. states excluding the states of California, New York, New Jersey, Florida, Texas, Georgia, Virginia, Michigan, Maryland, Kentucky, and the state of Washington as well as the District of Columbia. Limited travel restrictions in the countries of Iceland, Canada excluding the province of Ontario, the Bahamas, Ireland, the United Kingdom, Denmark including the Faroe Islands and Greenland, Portugal, Spain, Morocco, France, and Switzerland. All who will be traveling to these said places must present a negative COVID-19 test three to five days before departure. All other areas not mentioned will still be fully restricted from travel including the Schengen area in the European Union. All who will be traveling into Landova must present a negative COVID-19 test prior to departure of the country of origin. Quarantine measures will still be imposed for travelers inbound to Landova in the Plainsfield Pier Hotel. They will be quarantined for a week upon their arrival. Travelers who are fully vaccinated from COVID-19 and have presented a negative COVID-19 test will be released upon arrival. No quarantine measures will be imposed for vaccinated individuals. Vaccinated individuals must present a certification grant stating that he or she is fully vaccinated. Here's our weather for tomorrow. The Atlantic hurricane season has now begun, forming the first named storm named Anania Bermuda on May 22 and dissipated on May 24. The Landova Meteorological Agency is expected to see two to five storms from the tropical Atlantic to bring winds and rains to Landova this hurricane season. The health department is now preparing its vaccination process for the coming of the vaccines in June. With us today is our guest doctor to explain and answer all your questions about the coming COVID-19 vaccination process here in Landova. Dr. Luvhart Polk. Good evening, Dr. Polk. Good evening to you too, Mr. Barnes and Ms. Parkinson. Good evening, Doc. We all know that the Pfizer vaccines from the U.S. will be arriving here by June. 
Our citizens here are still curious and doubting about the vaccination process that will happen here in our country. For this time doc, are we confident that many people will get the vaccine from your perspective? For me, some might, but we don't know for sure. By the way, doc, members of the publishing team will be documenting this interview. If you don't mind doc. Yeah sure, go ahead. Thank you doc. For our questions, here they asked, where can I get the vaccine? You can get the vaccine and be vaccinated in Lingus General Hospital. Plainsfield Medical Hospital might conduct vaccination in the future, but we are unsure. Doctors and nurses will be handling the vaccine with her and by appointment. Walk-in vaccination isn't allowed yet. The vaccination process and phases will be followed. The health department will follow up on this information about the vaccination process. Surely enough that vulnerable groups and hospital staff will be vaccinated first. Another question is, if I had COVID-19 and had been recovered, is it recommended that I should be vaccinated? Even if you have already had COVID-19, you should be vaccinated when it is offered to you. The protection that someone gains from having COVID-19 will vary from person to person, and we also don't know how long natural immunity might last. It is said that you mustn't yet take the vaccine two weeks after being recovered from COVID-19. Who should and shouldn't get the vaccine? Almost all people are eligible for the vaccine. For the Pfizer vaccine, ages 16 and above are eligible for the vaccine. People who aren't allowed to get the vaccine are people who had severe allergic reactions or with immediate allergic reactions. If you have an underlying condition, you may consult our doctors if you're unsure that you can get the vaccine. Another question, are there things you'll need to do before and after taking the vaccine? Firstly, before getting the vaccine, know what you are getting. You may research more about the said vaccines. It is not recommended to take over-the-counter pills or medicines before vaccination in the case to prevent vaccine-related complications or effects. During the vaccination, let the medical staff know if you have some medical conditions so you may proceed for vaccination. After receiving the vaccine, it is recommended that you must rest for a while because the effects of the vaccine might occur and be patient for your scheduled second dose. Is vaccination mandatory? Should I be inoculated? No, vaccination is not mandatory. It is up to you if you want to be vaccinated. It is highly encouraged that you should get vaccinated to lessen the chance of being infected by the coronavirus. What are the side effects or adverse effects of the vaccine? Are the vaccines safe? After taking the shot, you might feel pain, swelling, or redness on the arm where the syringe has been put into place. Headaches, fever, nausea, muscle pains, tiredness might also occur. If you're feeling not in the common, don't hesitate to come to our hospitals. The vaccines are very safe and have been carefully processed and tested in clinical trials and reports. Is it back to normal for people who will be receiving the full dose of the vaccine? For now, not yet. If we achieve herd immunity, which means if most of the population is immune to the disease, then we are close to our normal lives. It is still recommended to practice social distancing, proper hygiene, and wearing of facing masks in public even if fully vaccinated. Can I still get COVID if I am fully vaccinated? It is still possible that you can still get COVID-19, but assuring that the probability of infection will be significantly low after taking the vaccine. If you were to catch COVID-19, chances are that symptoms will be mild. Severe and critical symptoms protection based on efficacy data are remarkably at high protection. It is still recommended to take safety precautions even if you are fully vaccinated. Thank you very much Dr. Polk for answering these questions. Thank you also to all the staff here for having me here. Stay safe there. That is Dr. Lubhart Polk from Lingus General Hospital. And that's it for tonight's news. This is Lewis Barnes. And this is Maude Parkinson. Reporting, Reporting for Orca, Orca News. News. Good evening, everyone.